Hey everyone, this is Az here, uh, bringing you some coverage of the Irish Netrunner Nationals in 2015 that took place on the 5th of September in Gamers World in Dublin. Um, I want to take a couple of minutes at the start of this game to explain a little bit about what's happening and uh, introduce my co-commentator for this game, Tracy McLean, also known as Carrot Sue. Hi everybody! Um, Tracy was part of the team that actually uh, ran the event on the day, but the, the main driving force behind this event was actually Mike Sheekle um, from Dublin and one of the kind of key members in the Irish community down there. Um, the Irish uh, Ireland itself doesn't actually get a, an official Fantasy Flight National, so the community decided to kind of get together, put, put their heads together and look at organising something that um, Ireland could kind of do as a, as a community event to have their own nationals. Um, the, the attendance was um, not massive, we had 25 players at it, which, which was a good showing. We had some custom play mats, we also had um, custom designed and community voted for um, IDs, which was fantastic. And there was actually a trophy as well on the day that was given to the winner and um, we're actually going to have about 16 games to show you over the course of, of this playlist on youtube uh, and the first match we're going to have up is actually argus security uh, on the left with his with adam turner against uh, nicole campbell as healy uh, uh, healy kaplan a really funny and fantastic first game here because this was actually the first tournament for Adam Turner who actually admitted in an interview later on um, that he was a little unsure of some of the, the core rules of Netrunner and he got put straight into the spotlight against Nicole Campbell who actually was the winner of the 67 person tournament the Ouroboros Cup um, which took place at the UK, Irish, uh, the UK Nationals um, this year so um, a really stuff. Uh, really tough yeah. uh, match up for him straight away um, so I know you got to watch this game Tracy so you'll, you'll keep me right as we go here but we're seeing the guys shuffle up now and they should be getting ready to cut decks and kick off yeah and I have to say that considering it was his very first tournament he's only been playing about a month he plays really really well and he really holds his own I think in this for the, the first couple of turns anyway before we start the ball rolling so he, he does really well Awesome. So we're seeing the starting hand for Healy here. Straight away, there's Ghost Runner, Switchblade, uh, Plascrete, Armitage. That looks probably like an instant keep hand here. Uh, against Argus, where you're predicting detect tags and meet damage for stealing agendas, this is probably in a snap keep. On Adam's side, looked like a couple of agendas actually. Uh, a couple of posted bounties there. Oh, and he's actually drawn into. Uh, Hollywood Renov Renovation, I think that is. That would be the face-up one. That would be the face-up agenda, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, possibly a bit of a risky hand. There could have been better or worse hands. Looks like there was no money uh, in Adam's opening hand, but the after the mandatory draw, it's click one, install ice, click two, install ice. And is that an alt art melange he has in his hand? I believe so. And third click draw into a power shutdown. So, he's got combos there but he doesn't really have the money to back it up we've seen a couple of draws out of Healy now and we're going to see her ability straight into play for a double install so Healy's ability if you don't already know is when you play a resource a program or hardware the first time each turn you may install straight away another one from your hand and um, which means we see a double resource come out here which is great click economy definitely getting the money train rolling for Nicole it gives you that kind of uh, a bit of a padding, gives you that, that control and, uh, and uh, reassurance when you're coming up against someone like Wayland who you expect Scorch out of and especially an aggressive ID like Argus. So having the money uh, advantage yeah. is pretty much all the protection you need, although she does have the pass screen in hand. Okay. That's another agenda <laughs> That's for Adam. absolutely heinous. That's four agendas in hand now for Adam. That's uh, tough. And looks, that, is that an old Art Melange in his hand? Think it, it's so hard to see. I think it is. So he's going to draw again, and it's oh, another, another agenda. agenda. <laughs> oh, this is awful. So, first game of the tournament, he's on the top table under lights, and he has come off incredibly unlucky here. Um, now, obviously, he's running more agendas than you can maybe normally expect because he's running some three ones there, um, hoping to take advantage of Argus's ability and do some net damage or land some tags with those. But it looks like he's had to dump an agenda, or has no, he got five agendas in hand? He's dumped the um, power shutdown, I think. Right, okay. Makes sense. We haven't seen the hardware yet. Um, power shutdown, sorry, just programs as well. Yeah. Or just programs. Uh, career fair. Is going to give even more acceleration speed to Healy, though nothing amazing looking like she's combos. Look like we're looking at two pieces of hardware. Nicole's thinking about a Plascrete and a Mem chip. Draws again, gets a self modifying code, which is fine. She might have just changed her mind upon doing that, and she has. She has, yeah. 
Okay, so we've got full confirmation of the stealth rig here with the cloak out now. So cloak for one, and off the back with Helios ability gets a self mod for free, saving another click. So what was that she trashed? That's a clot. So she's probably assuming not much fast advance, or if it is going to be fast advance, um, they need more money to get that going. But Wayland's definitely not. Uh, a corporation you expect to see fast about itself. What do we get? Scorched Earth? Scorched Earth and a fast track by the looks of things. Definitely not something he's gonna. Yeah, we don't think we don't think Adam's gonna be needing to fast track any agendas anytime soon. <laughs> he definitely has them all uh, in his hand. That is just. I think at this point I would probably be on tilt, and if you looked across the table and saw my face, you'd probably be able to read me like a newspaper. You'd know fine rightly my hand is just full of agendas. <laughs> So he's humming, he's humming in hand a bit, drawn again. Would love to see a oh, Jackson hired. Okay, so it's a Mary Matty. So it's a three to res, strength one, barrier. And um, really where it wants to be is on HQ to get the extra strength. So it becomes a bit more worthwhile, but he's had to put it over his remote. I think in front of that melange, um, which is definitely not ideal, but if he can get a turn or two of credits from melange, it could make a big difference to uh, how he continues this game. The problem he has right now though is Haley is getting set up. Uh, yeah, I'm, I feel so bad for him right now with just a, a handful of agendas. And um, he kept his cool really well. I'd have just probably thrown my hands up and went, nope, I'm done. Uh, that's going to be a kick in the teeth though. Straight away, Plascrete and the Mem chip down together. Yeah. So that's going to basically soak up potentially four meat damage from two stolen agendas. So two meat damage each time. Um, that's not great. We know he had Scorch in hand, he still does, so that's probably a reasonably dead card now that he's dropped his power shutdown. Um, yeah, that is a melange. Awesome. So this this is good. So he's having a mandatory draw, reses the melange, draws into a piece of ice that he'd probably like to have in front of the melange, actually. Um, if he'd drawn that last turn instead of the Mary, Mary Matty, it would have been better, but he's just triple-clicked for the melange, which I think he absolutely had to do, despite really potentially wanting the Enigma. And he's going to have to trash a card. Does he risk dropping some agendas in the bin at this he's point? He's going to have to, or the Scorch. I think the Scorch plan's probably the, the correct drop now that's on the table. I think he might just have to go at getting a server uh, built up here as quickly as he can. He's having a good think about it. Meanwhile, Nicole looks like she's getting ready to potentially... Yeah, drop the Scorch. Yeah, the Scorch. I think that's absolutely the correct play here. Um, Nicole's declaring a run with a self-modifying code. This is pretty safe considering she's on, well, six credits right now. So not not the healthiest of credit total in the world. Um, I just say the alt art for Melange is so pretty. I think that might be one of the first times I've seen it, actually. Uh, I must admit, I'm a little bit jealous. <laughs> Just a little. A little bit jealous. I like it. Not that I play my lines that often, but when you do see it, it normally does work. Um, so there's four credits in the bin. Can only assume that's two for self-modifying and two for Corroder. There comes Corroder. Yeah. Um, a credit does go, and another credit goes. To um, trash. A bit strange, because actually she should, she should have paid a credit from her cloak to pay for the brick. Um, and then a credit for the trash. So I think, actually... Nicole's maybe overspent a credit here. She didn't need to. I don't think it's going to change the game that badly for her at this minute. No, but I don't think so. every credit counts, as anyone who uh, feels at side games regularly like I do will tell you. <laughs> what was it, six? Six in a row. Six feels in a row. We'll talk about that every game. I'm not better. I'm not better. No, not in the um, And here we go. Grab two credits from Armitage. Haven't used Healy's ability, but it has been spent up by the Corroder install. And we're just going to take another four. Oh no, just another two. Sorry, from uh, Armitage, and that's the end of his turn. So mandatory draw, and a Jackson. Not a second too late. Goes into a new server for first click. Um, I feel like he needs to see some money. Um, I must admit, I think... Oh, so install, install, uh, install. Though I think we missed a credit there for Adam not, not paying a credit for installing the second tier of ice. So we've had a credit swing both ways well it not this first first game of the day i think everyone's a bit um on edge being on camera i think this is the first time for most of these players actually having a filmed game as well um so I, we, we would definitely forgive a few little mistakes like this so career fair shows us katie and film critic now that oh, film critic is absolutely just a nail in the coffin um for argus security's ability so argus whenever the runner steals an agenda they're going to take either attack or two meat damage but now that film critics on the table the agendas can be hosted on her 
and then uh, added to the square area later without actually being stolen, thus negating Argus's ability completely. On the flip side though, that installed Atlas didn't get touched and we're going to see an uninterrupted triple advance. Now, if Adam was feeling really, really happy, he could potentially try and over advance that to get some tokens on it. But do you know what? I think scoring it out here. Just getting it out. Yeah. When, when your hand's so full as it has been, um, I, th I think he's absolutely right to just get that off the board. He did have the security of the Jackson, though. So potentially advancing it once or twice and then overdrawing with the Jackson. Oh, thanks, Adam, for being it closer to the camera. Um, so that's 2 0. Okay, so. Healy's response is going to be money up. And I think really Healy at this point probably still not feeling super under pressure. She'll be looking for parts. I imagine like her rest of her silencer rig, the rest of her switchblade, and oh, well, that's going to help her Earth ride Summer. out an Earthrise Hotel. Earthrise. So that's going to get the economy, well, get the stealth economy supported by the draw that Earthrise is going to provide. Adam obviously just checking a few cards here that he's not super familiar with. So I think the Switchblade's still in hand for Healy, which really is going to kill any big potential threats like Archer, like HE 2.0, and um, anything at all that she thinks would kind of rig Wiper. Okay. Right on Healy. Katie. Katie. Yeah. That's her too. <laughs> Another old art that I would very much like to have. Uh, yes, I, I agree with that. Okay, so... Beanstalk, what is that he's drawn into there? Can you see? No, I think oh, that's a posted bounty, but I can't see what's under it. So the posted bounty at this stage is unfortunately really not going to do a lot. The last thing Adam, I think, wants to be doing here is sacrificing agendas to, to try and give tags. Um, potentially a tag could kill um, a tokened up Ghost Runner. It could kill a high credited Katie. Um, but here we go, we're getting some draws. Now, is that another agenda that he's Jackson? another agenda. My lord... So he's definitely got a Scorch in hand. It looks like four agendas of Scorch, a piece of ice. A piece of ice and being a Enigma, stop. I believe. No, Enigma has been plopped down already. Has it? Yeah, that's Enigma there in front of Mary Maddie. Oh, okay. And so has he dropped another agenda here? Yes. Okay, so funnily enough, with Jackson on the table and I think at least two or three cards faced on in archives, um, Haley hasn't run to kind of force that clear. Um, oh, we're forgetting the credit spend again yeah. for the second tier. Uh, I mean, it's obviously the duty of both players to keep each other right. And as Adam is a newer player, it can definitely be forgiven if, if Nicole's missed this and sort of not kind of checked them on it, then, you know, it's not unfortunately something we can really kind of monitor at this no. stage. That um, looks like a Project Atlas he's drawn into. Another. Hmm absolutely king of the agendas in hand right now i have so much sympathy for him it, the bottom half of his deck must be operation heaven all of the money is hiding there we haven't seen any money cards really bar melange yep we haven't seen a hedge fund or a beanstalk or anything of that arc at all so some money from armitage for healy looks like we could see a double program install here yep there's the switchblade switch and a self mod which she can support She's on five memory, but she has the mem chip, which is great. And with that switchblade and a self mod on the table, she's happy to run this. She only does have three credits on Healy, but don't forget she has three credits on the Ghost Runner and on one cloak. on her cloak as well. Yeah. There's Enigma. Now, depending on the breaker that she has, this could be tricky enough. So assuming two for the spend one, it must be Zul she's going to get. Oh no! Oh, of course, refractor, refractor in, a, in a stealth in a stealth break rig, of course. So it's only one to install, and this is going to help her. Oh, oh a sure gamble fell out of her deck. Did that sure gamble fall out of her deck, or did that come from her? We checked it came out of her out of her out of her, her deck, deck, and not yeah. from that. <laughs> Good judging on the day. No, I was actually sitting watching that one, and I was like, eh, Nicole. Just making sure that didn't come from archives there, and we're not accidentally putting uh, extra cards in as the posted bounty and straight, straight away the onto the film critic so that negates the one tag or two meat damage that the Argus ID would usually provide um, and that means that'll sit there now until Haley decides to spend two clicks to add that to her score area or until uh, the court manages to tag the runner and trash the film critic at which point it'll be put into their archives but I don't unfortunately think there's going to be an option for that. Uh, a C source here could land a tag, considering the runner is on zero credits. Um, 
but I haven't seen anything like that from Adam yet. I don't think there are any in his hand. Okay. So is that another Scorch he's drawn into? He does have a Beanstalk, which I'm surprised to not see him play. Um, that server now is essentially super dead. I mean, the runner's getting in there for one to break Mary Matu, and I believe Refractor, it'll be just be two credits for the Enigma. And if you run last click, you don't even need to break the, the loss no, of click. So it's only really it's two to three player. credits to get into that server right now. So it's basically dead. What is it with Refractor, though? Stealth credits. Stealth credits, I believe, is the boost. So it's strength two, and if you if you put a stealth credit through it, I believe it's boosted by three. I should uh, check, check that. that out. Film credit is such a card as well. It's absolutely ridiculous. And there's that face up agenda I was so excited about. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I think. Uh, this is this play is, is definitely a tough one. I'm not quite sure. Ah, okay. So we've seen. He's not paying his credits for paying for paying for over there. So that's definitely that's, that's I think that's four credits now. That's kind of swung that game a little bit. Again, Nicole should be keeping track of this though. Um, so I'm just checking. So I believe that's Hollywood renovation that's on the table there. I'm just having a wee double check. I believe it's um, when you place an advancement counter on it, you gain two credits. Yep, that's right. For, and until you get it to uh, basically be, oh sorry, it's not Hollywood renovation. Sorry, tell a lie. Hollywood renovation is the one where you. It's Oak Town renovation. Time. Yeah, keep myself right. So Oak Town renovation, um, essentially, every time you advance that, you're going to gain two credits back. So essentially, you're gaining a credit each time. Uh, and then if you do advance it to five or more, you get three credits for each time you advance it. Um, meanwhile, what we're seeing is Katie getting cleared, the posted bounty being moved to score area, and a run being made with all breakers out and a bit of money now, and an archer being raised, which forces the forfeit of the atlas, and unfortunately is just chow to switchblade. Switchblade yeah. really just chomps right through that, one to boost and one to break as many sentry subroutines as you want. So straight in there without so much as a second thought and snap straight, that right up. Straight to film credit. So I think, unfortunately, Adam maybe didn't quite check just how strong Switchblade was against uh, multi subroutine sentries. I think had he been running any other sentry breaker there, it would have been a much more secure server with yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. Um, so another beanstalk? No. That's Cyberdex Cyber Fire Suite. And, and another, another not another agenda. Another agenda. I have so much sympathy for Adam here. He is drawing agendas like at a horrendous rate, an absolutely horrendous rate. I think it might be closed accounts he's drawn, possibly. Uh, closed accounts. Oh, it's, oh, he has actually got a C source. Oh, it's <laughs> he, a C source. He installed Beanstalk in that server for a second. Um, but yeah, so there's Beanstalk, uh, sorry, excuse me, there's C source. So we could potentially see a land tag, but what he needs to do is get the economy advantage with Katie on the table and Earthrise still a tick with a little bit of Armitage left as well. I don't think that's likely to happen. But that being said, a lot of his deck is still very much going to be operation driven. Cyberdex installed in that server. Hoping to maybe bait a run in and try and force a run here where a couple more stealth credits can be spent. Maybe clear that ghost runner um, and just, just tax the runner. I mean, yeah. I, I think this is a reasonable play, but maybe he's done it a little bit early because I don't think... I don't know if Haley's going to take the she has bait here. She's so much economy at this point now, though. She's sitting at, what, nine? Ten credits. Triple install, silencer, and lockpick. Oh, so that's, there we go. So I think a, a fantastic play here from, from Nicole, recognising that maybe her, her, her stealth credits just weren't quite what they needed to continually pressure. And I think now with Lockpick, uh, Silencer, another Ghost Runner in hand, and the one cloak on the table, she can basically get in anywhere, wherever she wants. Um, that's probably going to put an end to that server. And it is unfortunate for Adam that that bait didn't come off. And if he had put another Atlas down there, he could have scored it. The Refractor, by the way, yeah, it's it's it comes in at strength one. It's one credit to break a code get subroutine, but if you spend a stealth credit to boost it, um, it gets boosted by three. Um, so essentially, it's, it's still one credit per sub, but it goes to strength four for only one one stealth credit. Which is pretty... Actually, sorry, I can correct myself there. Pretty it actually goes to strength five for one credit, sorry. That, that, that is... 
Yeah, so it's already up to strength. It's strength two for Enigma. So it's getting through yeah. Enigma for two. I mean, right now... Oh, oh. no. Please place more credits. No, it looks like Adam Adam has made a, a saving of about six credits on that server. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like that would have been enough to swing the game anyway. Did you see what he put down in front of the archer? I did not. I'm trying to think what it was. So he's installed something over the cyber decks. The Jackson's still being allowed to stand. If I'm honest, it looks to me like Nicole is happy just to sit back and rig up. She's nearly at the stage that there's no server that can kind of stop her. No, we are not demon just to see what's in there. Nothing interesting. Oh, get that trash. trash oh, lunch. money, no. <laughs> Mr. Popular here, just uh, <laughs> getting all his Facebook messages in. Okay, it was Netrun related actually. Um, so another another Earthrise Hotel and another Ghost Runner. I, I think at this point, the I don't think there's anything he can do to keep it. Yeah, out. I mean, what we'd be looking to see here is Adam landing some kind of trap if he has something in this deck that he could use to to get uh, like something like a Shattered Remains. Um, would, would be pretty good if we trash it as a hardware, especially if we could kill the Plast Creep mm. uh, and maybe the, the lock pick or, the, or the, the silencer. But unless that kind of mistake happens at this stage, it's looking like an inevitability that the runner's going to just get in where she wants. Another fast track. So this deck looks like it was built to be quite fast, to try and get the agendas out quickly, um, especially by over advancing or, or at least advancing the Hollywood renovations so you would kind of put them down, advance them, get your credit pool buffed up by that, maybe install them in an empty server and encourage the runner to run and then punish them by sea source and scorching. Sea scorch. But it just looks like unfortunately for Adam the dates come the wrong way around here and he's been agenda flooded and not being able to get the economy he needs to follow up with the scorches or sea sources. Um we're gonna yeah, we're gonna see a run. We'll see what this ice is on the outside. Oh no, no res. res, so we're straight through the archer for two credits, then we're through for a lock pick and a credit, and then we've got one credit for the Mary Matty as well. And uh, Adam's just checking, I think, maybe the windows and sort of how, how that's been paid. Oh yes, here we yes. go. So a very unfortunate card to be introduced to at the first the first <laughs> the game of your first tournament. Game, yeah. um, Asking which card she prefer to access first. Oh, and she steals a little Kronos project, which really isn't bad. Is it the three for one? doesn't care about the cyber decks, no. Yeah, it doesn't affect her in any way, shape, form or fashion. There's nothing to clear. Another three on Katie. And Astrolabe. Uh, she has another Astrolabe in hand, so she's clearly dumped that. Uh, and again, memory's not a huge issue. I mean, I think really at this stage, uh, another self-modifying or another cloak is really all that we're going to hit, see hit the table. Yeah. So what was drawn there? That wasn't another agenda that was drawn, was it? It does look like it. Yep. So he's running four agendas, a sea source and a scorch, with nowhere near the economy to really land it. Although, in saying that, it's four to two in credits right now. A successful run was made. If he just had a little bit more money to land a tag and trash the Earthrise or trash the Katie, there's nine credits currently sitting on Katie. I must admit, I'd be quite tempted to try and land that. Yeah. The problem we're seeing, though, is that Healy's not paying any credits at all to get into the servers right there's now. A hedge fund. Was it a hedge fund? The second card drawn was a hedge fund. Can we see? Come on, yeah, there you uh, go. Are you sure that wasn't another agenda? There was another oh, agenda. There, no, I see the hedge fund. You see, see the hedge, hedge fund. fund. Wow, it looks so similar though. <laughs> uh, nothing worse in this world than accessing the top card of R and D, seeing a hedge fund, and thinking it is an agenda. Which we've all done on many an occasion, yeah, I believe. Absolutely. So three to nil, but an effective four to nil actually, with the Kronos project sitting there, ready to come off film critic. As the court, what are you doing here? Are you just trying to money up? If you're not running something like Caprice or Ash, um, you, you, if you've got no hard way to stop the runner getting in at this stage and, and then ending the run at the, the, at the server. Please tell me he did not just dump a hedge fund. Um, can't quite see. I can't imagine so. One thing that's worth noting is that the, the R&D hasn't seen any pressure this game. The hand hasn't seen any pressure this game. The entire pressure has been on this remote and the runner's just been sitting back, letting the corp get flooded. It just so happens that he was flooded from the get-go, yeah. which is horrendous luck. So Katie's cleared. It looks like 
there's a bit of him and Han here about whether it should be astrolabe and R&D going down as a double hardware and then maybe moving to R&D pressure or if we should continue running on that server considering a new car has just been popped down. So two clicks, that's going to leave. So Katie cleared for one, film critic two and three. I think this turn, if she doesn't want to end up trashing cars, need to see, I think Nicole might have to install here, but then she's missing the opportunity to run. No, we do see double. Okay. I, th I mean, this rig is just becoming ridiculous at this stage. It's massive. I don't know if I've seen as many cards on a runner in so long. Wait. It's rare. It's rare a runner gets this much time in a game to get yeah. rigged up. The decks, corp decks are so fast these days, even non-fast advanced decks are. But it looks like we're going to get another score with no way of getting anything to stop that out. And another Project Artless. So what we really have to hope now is that's not an archer in front of the other archer. <laughs> and uh, we'd lose a Project Atlas. That would be absolutely horrendous. That would be um, so sad. That being said, a double archer would be a good way to slow down the effectiveness of lockpick, which needs four stealth credits to be able to do its thing. And right now, that really is only coming from one silencer and one ghost runner. So that was another archer. It would actually solidify that server. On the, other, on the other hand, though, what it would do is leave R&D wide open for the focus to be moved over there. That being said, I think 99% of uh, Adam's agendas have passed through his hand this game. So they're yeah, either in his hand or in archives. Some draws into another Ghost Runner, which is probably all the security that Healy needs. I'm going to get an R&D interface down with no hardware off the back of it. We're and we're going to run R&D for two credits. One from Cloak, one from Killer. Well, sorry, she does have Cloak as well, so potentially the only the only card maybe I'd imagine that Cole's drawn for at this stage is probably more R&D interfaces and more Cloaks. She's got two memory spare, so another Cloak or two would actually, well, really it would make every single server um, bar a five century deep server uh, pretty much <laughs> insignificant. Another Jackson in hand? This Jackson survived a very long time. I'm surprised it's like this long. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember the last time I seen a Jackson survive this long on the table. Actually, I really do think that he binned a hedge, hedge fund. fund. I wonder what the thought process was. Oh, oh my! No. Now this could change things. He only has two credits though, right? Yeah. And this is oh, oh so oh this is. You need to he he click one Jackson, click two installed. He's not going He's... to get the credits if. Nicole does run for this. No. Now, Nicole, the funny thing about Film Critic, because you normally want to clear it, you're yeah. spending two clicks, and if you do something like Katie, Film Critic, run, you're running on your last click. If you got hit by a snare, it could definitely hurt. Um, or even kill. At, at this stage, I think we would need to see three Scorches minimum, because it would be mm. four to clear the Plascrete, another four, and then another four. four. Yeah. You know, so I think... We might see a run here from Nicole on that server, but it really kills me to say that if we do, the snare's not going to come off. It's not going to come off at all. But it's going to force her, well, it's not even going to really force Nicole to use credits because they're all stealth credits should be used anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Healy's running so cheaply at this stage. As a second film critic and a diesel because more cards are needed yeah, in this rig she apparently. Doesn't have enough cards. Um I must admit, oh double resource install of Ghost and Film Critic, that's nice for two. I must admit a, a big appreciation to the call here managing to keep this entire rig in camera shot. <laughs> <laughs> there are quite a lot of cards in there. A lot more is that a we run on archive? I think it is. Oh looks, is there looks like he's gonna pop the Jackson, just can't quite decide. Oh, is that his hand he just put in there. Oh, no, don't. here's his hand here. Actually. No, that's the server at the bottom. That's his hand. I think he's looking through now. Uh, okay, so Jackson's getting popped. I think we've at least seen two or three agendas going there. So one face down, uh, two face down. Three oh, face down. throw a Whoa. card away. Oh, have Don't we mi have we mixed his hand in now? What? Where is no, his? I think this is his hand here. Oh, that's his deck. Uh, people on YouTube can see where you're pointing, by the way. Oh, good point. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, well, he did dump a hedge fund. Um, that's that's really I think that's really unfortunate. I think maybe 
the, the rationale could have been were the three agendas in there already and he didn't have the second Jackson yet. So with three agendas in the bin already, he didn't want to put another agenda in. Yeah. Um, which I can understand absolutely the, you know, the rationale behind that. Okay, so now R&D is full of agendas. Okay, I think we had a wee glitch there just in the, the gap between the, the videos. I think there was possibly a wee stop and start. But we're carrying on. Do they have a pop-up window in hand there? What else is it? So what's he got? He's got at least one agenda. Is that an Alice and Archer? What's the other piece of ice? Oh, what's that? He's just, did he just throw an agenda down in the open? Um. He's taking two credits now. So now the snare is live. Mm. Which is really big. Back to R&D. Scorch, you I don't know what we saw there. Two cards off the top, no agenda, which is mathematically improbable. Well, they're all in his hand. <laughs> yeah, we're having potentially a run on the hand here, it looks like. Is that two agendas in a fast track or three agendas? I mean, there's no piece of ice here that's going to keep Healy out, no. so. The court really has to consider how worth this is. The problem is as well that there's a second film critic on the table. Data Raven's a good res though. This means she'll have to take a tag. Pays to get through it, which is fine. Trashing a ghost runner and taking a tag. So that's actually pretty nice. It's actually unfortunate we haven't seen more HQ pressure despite all the agendas because Data Raven would have proven to be quite a stop. Oh, there we go. Oak Town Renovation. So that's... Four points on the board, but an effective seven, seven. with a two and that with, with Oak Town Renovation and Posted Bounty both sitting on film critics. And we're passing the turn after an Armitage back to Adam. Which I think they're going to probably realise that I don't think there's anything he can do to actually stop this happening. Uh, Healy was able to clear the tag, which means that the film credits can't be binned and yeah they've realized yeah. that the three points sitting in the film credits are going to be scored next turn or for four clicks and we're just going to see they can see that game so it goes seven two to healy um i think adam incredibly unlucky with argus yeah. there just yeah. to get agenda flooded and um, not really get going the way he really wanted to and it just let healy take all the time she wanted to get rigged up and that was fatal game yeah although again you know i think he done really well especially with having so many agendas in hand for so long yeah absolutely no, that would have put me off entirely. Yeah, 100%. His, his, his cards, the dis discard there, were, I think, about as, as correct as they could have been. And he just got super unlucky. He was drawing for Jacksons and drawing for money. Cards that he could play, drawing for ice, and he just wasn't getting them. Thanks so much for watching, guys, the, the first game of what was going to be a 16-game long um, playlist. Please feel free to click the videos um, annotated above to check out a story of the Irish Nationals and how they came about or to head into the next game. Thanks so much for watching.